going guys foodies welcome to my kitchen uh, today we are going to cook something completely different I say that a lot don't I but this is something that just popped in my head that might be cool I've ne never seen anybody else do it I'm sure people have done something similar I've done something similar but we're gonna do something really fun uh, first of all of course remember shop the pig Piggly Wiggly uh, Delavan Wisconsin is my sponsor uh, they have four locations, two in Kenosha, uh, one in Lake Geneva, and of course the one I shop at in uh, Delavan. So what we are going to do, I don't know exactly what I'm going to call it yet. By the time I have this online, I'll come up with a name for it. Uh, but basically it's going to be similar to a franchisee. If you've ever been to um, a restaurant called Lums or whatever back in the old days, franchisees were really popular. Uh, what I'm going to do, first you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. What you're going to need is a baking pan. I like using the um, silicone mats. That way, you know, even the pan starts getting old, it doesn't hurt it. You're going to need a frying pan. You're going to need um, beef sausage. You can use pork sausage, but we're going to use the beef, all beef sausage. Bacon. You want the crescent dough sheet. This is a one long sheet. You'll see why once we get into it. Um, Actually, I think that's all we're going to need. Oh, and cheddar cheese. Shredded cheddar cheese. Well, I guess you could use sliced too, but I'm going to use shredded. So, the first thing we want to do, like I said, is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Then, of course, I should have had this out already. We are going to start frying some bacon. We don't want the bacon completely cooked, but we want it like three quarters of the way cooked because otherwise it will be too greasy inside the dough. So um, we're going to cook probably, I'm going to say six slices of bacon. I'm using thick slices, um, mainly because it was on sale, but I think it'll work out good as thick. So we'll put six slices on the pan. Should be able to fit six perfectly on here. I was going to use my big long frying pan that I usually cook bacon in but we're not gonna cook the whole pound at one time. So, turn this on. Medium heat. If you go too high on the heat, it just splatters absolutely everywhere. So, we'll put this back in the refrigerator. Okay, and then of course we're gonna open up the uh, sausage, sausage package. You'll notice that there's two of them and they're very long. Boop. You can cut these in half and serve four people, um, but these are basically like foot long hot dogs, so it's going to be very similar. Um, I'm going to leave them together just because there's only two of us eating these and they're going to be like foot long hot dogs. Um, the other thing you're going to want to do on this is turn it so that the curve side, you notice that they curve naturally. So you want the curve down so you can flatten this out. And we want to, oh, that's right. We don't want to cut on the silicone because you can cut through the silicone. That's what these mats are here are for. They're a harder uh, material so you don't cut through them. We want to cut this in half because what we're going to do when the bacon is uh, about ready, we're going to also fry the sausage. You don't actually have to fry the sausage, you can nuke it, but um, I like the taste of a fried sausage. It just does something for it. Um, nuking is fine if you're in a hurry. Um, the other nice thing about frying is you will lose a little bit of the grease. One of the things about doing the crescent roll with the bacon, another thing I like to do is I, normally I would add like grilled onions to this. The problem is grilled onions are wet. The bacon's going to be wet, the sausage is going to be a little wet, but not too bad because that's why we're frying it to get rid of some of the wetness. So when you put it on the croissant, um, it makes it a little soggy and that's not good. So we're not going to do the onions, but you can put onions on the side. If you still want to cook grilled onions and the bacon grease, not a bad idea. Put them on the side and you can, you know, as you're eating it, you can put a fork full of the onions in your mouth. All right, you notice? how these sliced really nice. You didn't need to cut all the way through them because we're going to lay them flat like this in the frying pan when it's ready. I'm not going to open this yet because we want the bacon to cook a little bit. 
and you don't want the dough to start to dry out. It's not gonna be very long, so technically it shouldn't dry out in a short period of time, but it's only gonna take 30 seconds to open this and get it ready. So let me get my spatula. So another thing you're gonna need is a spatula for the bacon. Um, what am I forgetting here? I'm not forgetting much of anything except that it's gonna be kind of boring for you watching the bacon, but I don't wanna shut this down, so what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna be quiet for a little while and I'll edit it out and you won't even notice it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm gonna turn the bacon now. It's not obviously a, a difficult process. It's um, just that if you don't turn it, it starts to burn. I don't like burnt bacon. I know a lot of people like their bacon well done. I like mine soft. And in this particular instance, we want it to stay fairly flexible because it's gonna get baked some more. Granted, it's gonna be in the dough, so we should be okay. It shouldn't make it too bad. But um, I remember when I was a kid eating these things, uh, they actually wrapped the bacon on the outside, which was, because they didn't cook it in, in the crescent roll, they put it on a giant ham hot dog bun. Um, we're cooking ours inside. I think this is gonna be really cool. I remember, uh, Long time ago, I used to take the actual crescents and roll them, uh, roll the cocktail weenies in them. So delicious. So I figured this is going to be like a larger version of it. This is an experiment. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Um, I'm not too concerned about that. It's not really a uh, rocket science on this one. The other cool thing is we're eating this for dinner. This would also make a decent lunch um, if you're around for lunchtime. You could actually make this, put it in a, you know, wrap it up after it's cooled off and take it to work with you and then nuke it because, you know, a minute in the nuker, it's kind of like a bagel dog at that point. Um, so this is looking pretty good. What I want to do is I want to start cooking these sausages. Let's see how it looks on the other side here. Yep, it's cooking really good here. We're gonna wait just another minute so I'll talk about something else uh, we're coming into spring uh, you'll notice uh, even though you could be you could actually be watching this in the middle of summer in the fall it doesn't really matter but if you look at the posting date you'll see that we're coming into spring we just got really lucky the reason I have time to do the show today we were expecting 4 to 12 inches of snow today it went south of us we're getting nothing I can't believe it absolutely nothing we are I mean a day ago 4 to 12 inches today nothing the weather is just incredibly weird. They can't, it's, even using the uh, technology that we have, they still can't seem to figure out how to be a little bit more accurate. But I think it's because it's Mother Nature is that way. So let's see how this looks here. Oh yeah, this is looking almost perfect. We're gonna swap out the middle ones for the edges ones because the middle is the hotter part of the pan here. Put that in there, and actually, let's just do this. Ha ha! That puts the softer stuff in the middle again. Pretty simple. Okay. Um, on our show, what happens to the world today? We are in the process of uh, working in a name change called "Don't Know Shit." Um, if you've watched that show, if you're a fan of all shows, which uh, quite a few of you are, you'll notice that. We research stuff, but a lot of the stuff we know nothing about, but we found it interesting and we want to pass that information on. But every once in a while, we get stumped on something that we thought we knew and then we don't. So that's why we're going to call it Don't Know Shit. Besides, if you type in what happened to the world today or ask Alexa to do that for you, they don't find it. It used to come up in the top first page. Now it's like buried. And we don't know why, so that's another reason we're going to change it. When you type in, don't know shit, nothing really shows up. So we figure we're going to do all right with that. Um, the cooking show, needless to say, Fun Guy the Entertainer Cooks For You, is actually um, comes up right away. For those of you who searched it in the first place, as long as you type in Fun Guy as one word, it literally, you hit the letter T for the number one or two at the most on the drop down menu that's right at the top that's really awesome so that's how many people are watching our shows that helps tremendously and of course don't forget to share sharing is so important um you know anybody who likes to cook share it with them 
see if they don't like to cook share with them maybe they'll want to try cooking because as you can see I make stuff that's kind of fun most of it's pretty easy to do um, rarely that well it is rare probably 20% of the time I have a semi sophisticated recipe uh, only because I actually know how to cook really really cook not just this easy stuff um, but the whole purpose of this show is I wanted to have a show Ooh, that's very good I wanted to have a show that the average person can look at and say oh I can do this you know you look at some of these TV shows uh, they're sitting there with an ingredients list of stuff that finding the ingredients is almost impossible finding the spices is almost impossible unless you're in a major city or you're like in in a what I call a, a an equator uh, type area where they have fresh stuff you know all the time I have to get the grease off this pan before it burns For those of you who have been watching you know I say bacon grease because bacon grease is absolutely the best stuff to cook hash browns in and eggs in and stuff like that it may not be the healthiest but it is the best all right so we're not going to clean this off because that's just a little bit more flavor we're just going to put this in here it's not going to take long we just want this to fry a little bit and since i was dumb enough to put bacon grease on my sheet here i'm going to take a paper towel and wipe off the excess it's okay if there's a little I just don't want puddles of it. Okay, while well that is sizzling there, you notice I got the cheddar cheese out while we were waiting before. It's pretty easy. I don't know if you've ever done these before. You just literally peel the package, whack it, and it opens right up, just like that. The reason you don't want to take it out too early because when it gets warm, it starts to stick and, and break. Okay, this has a seam in here. There it is. There's a seam. Do to do to do. Okay. Well, it's got a hole in it. I hate that, but it happens. So let's do it this way. Stretch it out a little bit. Try to get this hole to go back together doesn't have to be perfect ever on this okay so then we're gonna cut it in half again not very difficult we are going to literally put our bacon right that smack in the middle Guess I only need four pieces of bacon for this, but since I've got more, we'll just add a little bit. Nah, put it like this, and then I'll eat that one myself later. Okay, flip this over one time so you can see what this looks like. See it turn a nice little shade of cooked. The other side we only have to do for 30 seconds, maybe just uh, you know, same thing. What this is doing, I I don't want to lift it off here, but like, yeah, I guess it will. If you look really close, you can see it pulls some of the oil out of the, or the grease out of the sausage, which is really good. It doesn't pull all of it out. That's most of the flavor there. I've already got the cheese ready and open. The uh, oven is up to temperature already, which makes this easy. All right, we'll turn that off. Put this right on top of the bacon, flat side down. Oops. Okay. And now we sprinkle the cheese on top. Do do do. Now, obviously, I'm not going to give you measurements. This is to taste. This is one of those. If you want a lot of cheese, you put a lot of cheese. If you don't eat a lot of cheese and you just want a little hint of flavor, just do a little bit of cheese. That looks pretty good to me. And of course you don't actually have to put any cheese at all in here if you don't want. There are some people that do not eat dairy. But then again, if they don't eat dairy, the odds are they're probably not gonna eat the sausage either. Ha! <laughs> because it's uh, 
one of those healthy things. All right. Unfortunately, this uh, this dough got too warm and it is breaking apart. I hate it when it does that, but it's really not the end of the world. This one here is probably going to work a little better. I, I realize that part of the problem is with the oven on, the heat is blowing on this and it's making the dough react. I probably should have done uh, this over here so the heat's not hitting this. And of course, this is the side that had the hole in it in the first place, so that's probably the problem. Because this one's not coming out so bad. Okay. Now, I don't think I could fix this. I think this side, this one is just a little bit too much um, shredded. But that's okay, it'll still cook. It'll just have holes in it. Stick it in the oven. And we're gonna set the timer for 12 minutes and then we'll check it at 12 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna go do that and I'll see you in just a moment. All right, hopefully I got everything focused again. I really wish I had a better kitchen to work with, but this is what we have. So the heat from the oven screws up the, the cell phone, so I had to, to use this other camera. And this other camera you can't see because uh, the lens is on the back side. To, to, you know what I mean. On the cell phones, you do a, a selfie view, and you can make sure you're focused. But anywho, um, we're down to like less than two minutes, so I thought I'd, I'd come back now. I still haven't come up with a name, but like I said, by the time I do the editing, I'll come up with the name of this sandwich. Um, I have a feeling it's gonna be really, really, really tasty. Um, I did not do the onions. Normally what you do is you do like onion rings or french fries or tater tots with this meal, but I had a taste for um, macaroni salad. And uh, the pig has what's called a um, uh, bacon, uh, macaroni and bacon. Uh, it's so good. So when I do the pictures of the plated product, you'll see what I'm talking about. So that's all you got to do. If you're if you're going to do uh, uh, tater tots, though, you need a different oven because tater tots cook at 450, whereas this is at 350. So you know tater tots won't wouldn't come out right. Um, frying them in a pan or whatever is the best bet on that with a little bit of oil. So anywho, um, let's check the inside here. Oh, that looks pretty good. But actually, I think I'm going to go an extra two minutes. Um, basically, 12 to 15 minutes is the norm on this. Uh, I, it looks like it's going to go to the full 14. So we'll come back in just a minute, and I'll show you the finished product. Welcome back, Fun Guys Foodies. Timer just went off. Uh, we're all set, ready to rock and roll. Let's pull this out so you can see what it looks like. Oh, and of course, like a dummy, I didn't even have my, my glove. This time, I don't need two gloves because the pan's not that heavy. Oh yeah, look at this. See, that's what it's supposed to look like. Well, a little neater. If you can, you roll it over so that the seams on the bottom and it makes for a nicer presentation. When I go to serve this, actually, why don't I, well, I gotta let it cool down a little bit. I'm gonna serve it with the seam side down so it'll still look good. But that's how this works. It's really, really simple, really, really good. Um, you know, you could have any kind of condiments on the side as you want. Uh, you're going to obviously cut it with a fork. I suppose you can pick it up in two hands and eat it that way. It's so strictly up to you how you do this. So um, I hope you enjoy this as much as I know I'm going to enjoy this. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It is so important. We picked up another uh, 20 subscribers in the past month, um, which is awesome. Um, but, you know, we still got to get to that thousand that's just so far away. So please, 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 please share and tell your friends about us to subscribe. Cost absolutely nothing, you know, and I only do, you know, two a month now. So it's not like you're getting them constantly. Uh, it, it's worth it, and I appreciate it. And check out our show, Don't Know Shit or What Happened to the World Today. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for coming to my kitchen. I'm Fun Guy the Entertainer, cooking for you.